what is called as Purna. Even after preparing such a beautiful infinite <coughs> world, even after taking it out, the balance left is equally infinite. The balance is equally infinite. So, infinite, Purna, full, they are all equivalent words in our philosophy. And why should he talk of Purnima? The Purnima is one that grows. Purnima is one that grows. And we have got the Mother's Day. We remember the mother. We purchase some toffees, go to the mother. Just you give her a kiss. Yearly only one kiss. So that's one day you do it. And Similarly, on one Purnima, we are thinking of our Guru. All the Gurus, starting from the first Guru, if the first Guru has not started this parampara or tradition of the Guru and the Shishya, the preceptor and the disciple, today we will all be nowhere. We will all be Guru willing in the dark. We will all be Guru willing in utter ignorance and grass ignorance. Grass ignorance and also gross ignorance. So, we are very grateful to the first, the starters of this tradition of Guru. Number one, why it all this Guru is essential? Guru is essential just as a child just born requires a mother. In the same way, apart from that, we are all like the bulbs <coughs> in which the entire electricity of the same wattage which is there in the generator, that infinite watts, they all come. They are there in full. But then why this difference? Normally we see a zero watt, a 40 watt, a thousand watt. Similarly here, we see a pew, we see a clerk, we see a doctor, we see an engineer, and all these things, each one with different advantage, with different capacity and competence. So, we want to show them, just like the digits of the moon, go on increasing from one, two, three, four, it reaches the maximum at uh, uh, the Purnima, severely, it is not the Guru who is progressing, it is our uh, intelligence, our grasping power, our memory and these are increasing and so every time, every day we are with him, our knowledge grows. It is not his knowledge which grows. His knowledge was there but we are unable to understand it in the beginning. So as time goes on, you understand him better and better and better. And by the Purnima it is supposed to be full. So he starts on the bud and goes on till he is full. When he has blossomed into the Purnima, the, we call it the full moon day. So we come to the day where the moons, all the 15 digits are there, brilliantly shining. And that shows how our knowledge begins to shine by the grace of the Guru. As I said, why should we require a Guru at all? Now I said, all of them are having the, the different bulbs, all of them connected with the, uh, with the final the generator. All of them are connected with each other and in the beginning and the end, they are all connected with that. So, that infinite wattage of uh, uh, the generator. So similarly it is so, all of us are linked to each other. We are all linked to each other. There is no separate electricity in us. The separate energy is not there. It is the one energy. We call it the Atman. We call it the Self. It is, we are all connected together. Not only that, we are directly connected to the generator, the Lord, from whom we are getting the electricity direct. And 
that electricity it comes in full and it fills us in fills us in its fullness. Then why all these things? The point is, even though it may be full, it is not able to manifest outside and reveal to us is the the totality of the energy. The energy which is loving and living, the energy which has been guiding you at all times, and the energy from which you are no time separate, and the energy is totally you yourself, and that energy which will give you parallel happiness and permanent peace. So, when there is a big log of food which is lying, it has been <coughs> lying for the past 20 years. It contains fire, it doesn't come out. So when will it come out? Then you take either a candle or a, either a candle or a mastic to it. When the mastic is kept there for just two, three seconds, it catches. Or if you keep a candle, it catches. Then it goes on for seven hours to eight hours, that conflagration, that big fire. It was there inside. It is not that uh, the uh, mastic is, uh, 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 is uh, burning for about seven hours to eight hours. It is sheerly absurd. So, similarly, the Guru plays the part of a, a candle or a mastic. Only because of him, finally, the entire fullness of the grace of the Lord and finally the full wisdom as to the our oneness with the totality called the Brahman. That is, the oneness between the individual Atman and the entire totality which is there, which governs the entire world. And it is that which, is, which we require. It is given by the Guru. And we, we become the same when all the resistance the Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, which is there in us, when it is all gone out, then what is left is pure divinity. Then we shine as the pure Lord or the pure Self or the pure divinity. And naturally, when such a great gift has been passed on to us by the tradition of the Guru Shishya, how did it start? It started with, according to the our Bhagavata, it started with Vishnu. Narayanam Padbhavam Vasitam, like that it goes. So the Brahma then told it to his four sons, Sanaka, Sanatkumara, Sanatsudata. So those four sons he taught. Then from them it went to further to their brothers or to their sons, and it went on. It came like that out. So, on this day, according to the Shastras, because people do as they like, but according to the Shastras, there is a book called Pratya Chintamani, where it's all given, and that is based on the book called Kalpa, which is one of the eight sciences, which are the, which form the limbs or angas of Vedas. You cannot read Vedas unless you read this. This is what is told. But nobody knows about these six exist the existence, the so-called uh, our prohits. So unfortunately, yeah, I think it's a, it's a losing game. Finally, all these six limbs may be even lost. So, it starts with Chitra Vyakaram Chandra. You should know how to pronounce the entire thing is a sound energy. The entire thing is a sound energy. So, if you say ah, uh, if you say eh, hey, if you say ah, uh, well, then it changes. There are some which can be destructive to the world. There can be some 
which can send the positive waves to all the beings in the world and give us prosperity at all levels at the level of the uh, spirituality and at the level of your ordinary day-to-day -day life the so-called materialistic prospects also everywhere it can help you so <coughs> such a great treasure has been handed over to us from the first one then afterwards the entire jagat guru we call krishna we say krishna mandir jagat guru he is the world's jagat guru he gave us a priceless book called bhagavad gita the bhagavad gita contains the summary of all the operations in the world that alone is sufficient if all the books are lost in the world i would say a yeah, copy of bhagavad gita alone is sufficient to revive the entire knowledge that has been lost so it is so nice so we call him jagat guru and then on the earthly side in our earthly man the man whom we consider the greatest guru the first guru was vyasa so vyasa was the one who began to teach because he gave us the bhagavata which contain everything they say bhar bharata and bhagavata they contain such things there is nothing in the world which vyasa has not mentioned vyaso chittam jagat sarva everything has been uh, taken by him in his mouth and then put it out so everything has gone through his mouth so all or his uchishta the polluted they, they have been polluted by his mouth so they start to say and so naturally vyasa with his four shishyas one for each veda pahla for rig veda jaimini for some ayur uh, veda krishna ayur veda so like that he had so all those people we worship and finally we worship our guru where did have been our guru if he had no guru so we worship his guru where did have been that guru if he has not been taught by somebody we worship that one so param guru parameshwara guru parmartha guru so all of them we bow again and again again and again they have done wonderful service to us but for them today we will be still uh, uh, what i should say drowned in the mire of ignorance and we will be thinking all oh, this is true everything is true the house is true the world is true and this all it should have been we could never have come out of it and we will be still wallowing in the unhappiness in miseries in sufferings not knowing there is no suffering we are all alone yes suffering can come only when there is somebody else there is nobody else other than the brahma when there is only one when there is only you when there is only the self that cannot be any suffering and all that so we are grateful to them this is the day when we remember see i would say they have given us such a treasure the entire uh, parampara tradition of gurus if we make our skin as the chapel and put them it won't be sufficient recompensation they are given us such a wonderful thing so, so again i bow to the gurudev bow to all the gurus of the world at the highest level all the gurus are one all the sad gurus are one we bow to them again and again hari om One more small question, sir. Okay, you talk about Guru's grace. Okay, the easiest, the best way to get the Guru's grace. Speak one or two few words on that. See, you talk about grace. Please talk about a little bit of grace. Uh, all the people think Guru has got some problems in his leg, so you just message it for one hour, you will get your motor. Chai is not so cheap, man. <laughs> so we call it shushrusha. 
Because it says Guru Chushu. <laughs> so, what is the service you can do to the Guru to become like him and to follow what all he said in your practice and practice them and reach the same state as the Guru? Then he says, Sabash, my boy. So you have to get the Sabash only in that way. <laughs> Not by giving him the medicines at proper times. Not bad. But all these things, what happens? See? Are they are they in waste? No, they are not in waste. They help to make the mind pure. I first sent for tomorrow today in that message that your pure mind is the first one. So to get the pure mind, to take away all those things. Well, these are all some of the methods. These are the same category as going to the temple and doing some archana to no, the Lord. So they are in the same category as going to the Ganges and taking boss. That's all. They will not get you directly moksha, but they are definitely helping you because you cannot get moksha unless the mind becomes pure. So it helps in that. So not that it's not required, otherwise nobody will come to you. <laughs> <laughs> At the end. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, Samaji, for a pure mind, how do you no, one minute, one minute, one minute. So finally, again I revert to the only one point. How do we get moksha? How do we serve the Guru? You serve the Guru ultimately. Any Guru would have told you only this ultimately. Many Gurus don't talk. My Guru never talked a word. So I became a uh, wonderful man who can talk for hours without preparation. And uh, you see, number one, keep the goal for 24 hours before you. Never lose sight of it. Have firm faith and firm love for your goal. The goal is a living and loving goal. And that's you call it the self, is what you call the At no time dilute it. Don't say, I want a house not in this worthless place where people are coming and going and they're all disturbing. I want a nice place where there can be nobody. So these are all meaningless. You have to do the best it's possible under any circumstance which the Lord gives you. Prakrata's father tortured him. He, he, uh, he made various gujas uh, or elephants to run over his chest. He was not bothered. He was taking the name of the Lord. The Lord protected him. So don't go after environment. So never, never dilute your goal to anything. Have only one goal, that is the Lord or that. Then, secondly, yes, I told you what pleases the Guru. And what is the method to please him? Then number two is, number one is this goal. And number two is, as I told, surrender yourself absolutely to God. This can happen only when you have got 100% love. Your wife surrenders herself to her husband, or a husband surrenders herself to his beloved. Only when he can become she and he has got absolutely no difference of opinion, what she thinks, he has already thought. What he thinks, she has already thought. So like that, where there is only one thought, one soul, there is no difference between them. So only then this can happen. That is surrender, surrender. Give the complete power of autonomy to another. Don't think that you can help somebody. So you completely leave off your attention to it. Whatever he does is okay. And then be keeping your goal. Then everything will go fine. Everybody will go fine. Hari Om. Thank <laughs> you.
all state recorders. <laughs> like uh, state photographers. I would keep this hair something. <laughs> keep this hair on and go. <laughs> no. And then he goes, all these things he 